Um, so today's video is going to be my last review um, all about this hair topper. I've now had it a couple of weeks, um, probably longer than that actually. Um, I initially did an unboxing video of when I first got this topper and first impressions, but now I've had it for long enough that I think that I can give an honest opinion on what I really love about it, what I don't like about it, and just everything there is to know about this particular piece. So this is my second hair topper from Lusta. I got um, a Lusta hair piece way back before Christmas time last year um, and that was when my hair was like a really dark dark brown colour so I think the colour I got was a uh, natural darkest brunette and I have actually already done a video all about that hair topper I just didn't physically have the hair topper in front of me that I was talking about because I actually sold it um, reason being because um, I went for a lighter hair colour um, my bio hair is under here um, so very good match to this um, but it's uh, it went lighter with my hair color and I actually wanted to go ahead and sell that hair topper so I could save up for a blonde one because I had been eyeing the blonde ones for quite some time and the intention was to, to go lighter because eventually I want to grow out my bio hair which although it's not blonde it's a very 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 light kind of mousy brown so um, I'd be going for lighter colors anyways so this hair piece itself is the You Can't Sit With Us. It's a balayage of that color. Um, I would say it's a little bit darker blonde than what some of the other You Can't Sit With Us toppers look like. Um, I've seen some other ones and they definitely look a lot lighter than this one. So this I would say is more like a dark rooted balayage of that color. Um, the root itself is kind of like a medium kind of a medium brown I would say it's not really light or anything but it's actually a very good match for my bio hair when I first got this topper um, if you go ahead and watch the video of the unboxing for when I first got it um, I was obviously seeing the color for the very first time as you guys were when I was taking it out of the box and when I was just about to put it on my head for a split second I panicked because I thought Oh my god, <laughs> the roots are so much darker than the colour my hair was at the time when it was just kind of freshly coloured to a light golden br uh, blonde, sorry. And I panicked <laughs> that this wasn't going to match at all. So when I was just placing it on my head for a split second, I thought, this isn't going to match. And <laughs> please go and find the video and watch it because you'll see in the video, for whatever reason, by some kind of black magic, it goes on and it just blends go figure, like I, I don't, I can't understand, I can't even explain how it happened, but it just blended perfectly, even though the root colour on this at the time was not a perfect match. So I'll get into this, but that's one of the other things I'm going to say, don't worry about trying to find the exact perfect match to your hair, because to be honest, I don't know how they do it, I don't know if there's magic involved, but lust to do something where even if it is not 100% match to your hair colour, it still blends. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. So now my bio hair is starting to grow out, it's actually even better and so much more easier to blend this topper in because I don't know if you can see this you guys, but my bio hair is actually pretty much identical to the root colour on the topper. So blending now is just so much easier. Um, it was easy before but it's just even more effortless. I literally don't have to do anything. I just pop it on and just do a slight little brush where my um, my bio hair is and it's just, yeah, it's just blended. I don't have to do anything. It's very, very easy. So this particular piece is um, a six by six base. Now this is a smaller base than the previous topper that I got from them. I had a seven by seven before. And one of my only cons about this actual topper, and it's the only one, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I really don't have anything bad to say. I've not experienced anything bad. But my only con is I can kinda, it kinda stops just about there and I wish it was just a little bit bigger. Um, not saying that it doesn't cover everything at the back, but I, th I think this is mainly, I'm gonna have to take it to hairdressers and just get it kinda um, layered more at the front because it's quite front heavy. I find that um, there only a couple of occasions, sometimes it can fall forward. So because all the hair is quite heavy at the front, it can kind of fall forward and then I'm a little bit paranoid at times that people are maybe seeing the thinning at the back, which to be fair, I have 
you know, looked, I've taken a mirror and I've looked to make sure that it's not actually showing my thinning parts at the back and it hasn't been, but I just worry about that when the hair kind of falls forward. But that's mainly because it's not been cut. Luster don't pre-cut the hair. Um, they, they leave it completely, you know, straight, um, not layered anyway, they don't they don't um, layer it or anything for you because they obviously give you the opportunity to take it to your own stylist and have it cut and layered or you know cut into a style that suits you. So you can get rid of um, some of the weight at the front by just taking it and having it layered and that's what I'm going to do. Um, just to, to give it a little bit more face framing and just to take away some of the, the heavy bulk at the front because there's a lot of hair which I'm not complaining about. It's it's fantastic that they have a lot of hair. The hair itself, um, the quality of the hair is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know, I really do need to do more research, but I don't know where it is sourced or anything like that. But the, the quality of the hair that Luster use is so beautiful. It is so soft. Um, one of the things you'll notice when you first get your Luster and you take it out of the packaging is just, it's so silky, it's so soft. Um, so the quality of the hair is actually really, really good. Now I've been wearing this a lot since I got it and I have not noticed any shedding. None, none whatsoever. Maybe one strand has come out, but that's it. I, I haven't noticed any shedding out of it at all. So I'm really, I'm really believing that I'm going to get a lot of longevity out of this particular topper. Um, obviously, you have to look after it. You have to, you know, make sure you're using the right products if you're washing it. Um, make sure you put heat, um, heat protection on it if you're heat styling. Look after it the way you would if it was your own hair, and you will get um, a lot of wear out of this. One other Instagrammer actually did an update um, about how long she's had her piece. She's had it for like six months or something. It's Alice Alopecia. If you haven't seen that video, um, pop on over to her page and have a look. But she did like a six months review on hers and she said the same thing, that it's barely shed, the condition of the hair has, has remained perfect. And to be honest, hearing that was such a relief because I thought, oh God, I just... I almost don't want to wear it because I want to keep it in perfect condition and I want it to, I want to have this hair for, for so many years because I'm so in love with it. But hearing that after six months of quite a lot of wear, it, it's in really good condition. I'm really, really happy about that. So that is another huge thumbs up for Lusta hair. The other thing um, on the pro list, <laughs> again, as I said, what I've just previously said about the base size, which is the only con. Um, the other pro is the colour. Now I'm pretty sure most of you, if you have watched quite a few of my videos, want me to shut up about colour because I bang on about it all the time. I keep talking about colour of hair pieces that I've had. But it's such an important thing for me. I, it really is. But the colour on this, I said it when I first got it and I'm going to say it again, is unbelievable it's so beautiful I cannot even I cannot fully explain the color you have to see it in person you have to get one and you have to see the coloring because it is just it's just dream hair it really is like this there's colorists there's stylists like oh my god thank you so much the work you do on these toppers is amazing because the color is so expensive looking it's it's like you've just been to the most amazing hair salon and had the most expensive color treatment done to your hair it's just gorgeous it's so multi-dimensional it's got so many different shades of blonde and you know highlights and low lights through it it's just gorgeous and the root blend as well because this is a balayage you you just don't have that awkward line from where it goes from root into like lighter color it just blends so seamlessly and it's just beautiful I just yeah I'm sorry I'm I'm, I'm never going to shut up about the hair color I'm never going to shut up about the quality of the color of this because it is just perfect even with my darker topper, the Natural Darkest Brunette, although it was just, you know, I just expected it to be a really dark brown, you would just expect it to be like quite a, quite a basic colour. Nope, it wasn't basic at all. It had so many different, um, just different shades of dark brunette through it. It had a little bit of red tone through it. It had some golden. So when you were in different light, um, whether you be indoors or you went outside with it, it just had so many different dimensions to the color. It was just not flat looking. Um, so again, I was I was super impressed with that, even though, you know, it wasn't like a blonde or a balayage. It was just, you know, a, what I thought was a block color. 
it did not look like a block color it had a lot of tones to it so again it's just if you're darker hair colors just expect that it's going to be absolutely gorgeous it's going to have a lot of dimension a lot of shine and a lot of movement to it as well so the other thing is the styling so the curls that it comes with now most lists of pieces will come with um some styling to it in the sense of having curls um they don't really send it just straight you know straightened completely flat it's always got a bit of a wave to it a bit of curl now they don't go crazy with their curls it doesn't come like super super curly or anything it just has this really pretty gentle kind of beachy wave through it and I really love that. I'm not a fan of like big heavy curls in my hair. I don't think I can pull that, that kind of look off. I go for this kind of beachy wave look because I think it just looks a bit softer and a bit prettier. Um, and one of the things I've noticed, I've not washed this topper yet. Um, I'm, I'm about to wash it very soon, but I haven't washed it yet. And when I used to wash my other one, the waves or the curls didn't didn't come out, which I thought was amazing. I was really worried that, oh gosh, I'm not going to be able to get the same quality of waves through my hair when I do it myself. Because as you know, when you, we try to style our own hair, it never looks as good as like how a stylist when you go to a salon does it. It just never does. It never turns out the same. So I kind of thought when I washed it, all the curl was going to come out and... I was like, oh God, I'm going to have to try really hard to get it to look really good again. Um, but no, they actually stayed in. So um, I'm quite excited about the fact that when I do wash this, I'm not going to instantly lose those curls. They are going to kind of, you know, they, they will be a little bit flatter and I'll have to kind of do them a little bit myself, but they won't go completely flat. Um, and the hair itself, when you wash it, it does um, air dry very smooth as well. So it doesn't go frizzy or anything like that. Um, so again, if you've got, you know, quite straight textured hair, it's going to just feel like your own bio hair because it, it does air dry very, very smooth. In terms of comfort, um, and I said this in my previous video about my last topper, I found it very, very comfortable. Um, I'm going to take this off actually, guys, in a minute, just to show you what it looks like underneath. So you can see the base and you can see the clips. Now, um, Kim actually did a video all about Lusta's hair clips because I think she must get bombarded with questions on what kind of clips that Lusta actually use because they are by far the comfiest. Um, I've tried you know a couple of different toppers and things but I've just found the clips on this one to be extremely comfy and I think the reason for that is is maybe how they position them if I'm honest like the actual clip quality itself is really good but I think it's got something to do with the positioning of the clips on the topper and I actually took um, another topper that I have from another company and I you know I kind of customized it a little bit myself and kind of changed the placement on it because I found that the I just felt like it wasn't as comfortable and I think the reason being is because the way the clips are actually positioned in this particular piece um, just sit better on my head. They're quite close together which you'll see when I take it off so um, I just find that I because there's no real big gaps between the clips I just find that my hair underneath is not being pulled a little bit due to the weight of any kind of if you put any kind of hair piece over the top of your bio hair it's always going to have a little bit extra weight to it whereas I just find that I don't feel this on my head I just I don't I don't feel this on my head I can wear this all day and it doesn't cause me any discomfort whatsoever it's super lightweight it's super you know just it's com it's just comfortable it just doesn't make my head feel sore afterwards or anything and I don't feel like you know when I wear my actual hair extensions when I take them out at the end of the night if I've been wearing them for work or anything my head's quite sore not with these these are super super comfortable so I'm going to go ahead and actually take this off which I don't want to do because my hair looks like an absolute dumpster fire underneath which you're going to see in a minute I actually have to wash it today because it is looking pretty gross but um that's the other beauty of wearing alternative hair is you can sometimes just not do your hair underneath because there's no point so I'm going to just take this out so that you can actually have a good look at the base of it oh my hair is just such a riot underneath here sorry let's just um yeah let's just ignore this <laughs> let's just try to ignore my horrible hair underneath and pretend that that's not happening um but this is the actual topper underneath so i'll give these a wee close so as you can see the actual clips here um how they're positioned they're all positioned really quite close together and i think that is what 
makes it comfortable because basically everything's quite nice and close to each other so there's no big gaps in order for it to pull on your bio hair. Um, I love the fact that they have the comb at the front. Now I know some people don't use the comb or maybe even take it out. I like it. I really like it. I think again it just adds like extra um, security on my head. It's just extra comfort for me so I actually use the comb. I like it. Sorry I need to do something about this hair. It's absolutely ridiculous looking. <laughs> it's just sorry I just I can't look at it when it's like this it just looks crazy this is why I wear this um but yeah I really like the comb I think it just adds to the comfort of it the clips themselves are really high quality they're extremely comfortable um they don't put a clip right here at the bottom instead they've got their little luster logo I don't think a clip at, right at the back of your head does anything I don't know. Um, guys, opinions, do you think it works? Do you have toppers that have a clip right at the back and do you think it actually helps or it does anything? Because I found that um, in a previous topper, I actually took it out because I found it actually hurt my head. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why it was doing that, but I just found it uncomfortable. So I just removed it and just kept the clips along the side, you know, at the side of the head because I don't feel like the one right at the back actually does anything. So I, t I took it out. But there is a good look at the um, hairline there with the silk top. So this is a silk top with a 6x6 six six base. Um, really realistic looking hairline. Again, you can see that beautiful rooting. Oh, just seriously, the colour. I just love the colour. It's so pretty. And it's such a good match, actually, as you can see for my bio hair underneath. And now that all my crazy roots are coming in, it's um, just so much easier to blend. But um, this is by far just my favourite. It's, it's so comfortable, it's so easy to wear, and it's just so easy to blend as well. The other thing I'll mention is um, the tracks where the actual pl the placement of the hair is put at the back. You don't feel them. Um, some hair toppers, I know that you can feel kind of the tracks at the back of where all the hair has been you know, placed. This just is so seamless. I, d I don't know how they do it. I really don't. It's I would love... To I would love to go to the, the you know the place where they build the toppers and actually watch how they're made because I'm so fascinated by it. I just think it's it's absolutely amazing. I don't know how they do it and it's just it's just such good quality but it's I can't stop playing with it as well whenever I have it. It's just the softest here. But yeah, um, if I'm ever in Australia um, or if I'm ever in a place, the place where, you know, they make the toppers, I don't know where these are actually made um, in comparison to when they're delivered to, you know, Lusta HQ. But um, yes, please invite me to your <laughs> factory where you make them because I'd really love to see. I just find it fascinating. Um, I just I would be really interesting to know how they make them and I would love to meet your stylist I would love to meet your colorist because I would just want to give them a big hug because I honestly am so obsessed with the coloring of your toppers I just think they're amazing. I just cannot get over the color of this. It's just Yeah, it's just beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous I've just gone ahead and popped it back on. Sorry guys, I could not deal with my hair underneath. It was just looking crazy. Um, so I hope that gave you a good look at the base of this topper. Um, so just getting into the actual retail cost for a luster hair piece. Um, and I don't know necessarily if I would say this is um, a con um, rather than a pro, but obviously if you are going to, to want a really good quality hair piece that you're gonna wear for uh, you know many years, you're gonna get longevity out of, I would definitely recommend recommend a luster topper but don't go think that they're cheap okay um they're definitely quite expensive for, for someone like myself I I know that if I'm going to get a luster I do have to save up quite a bit for it I had to sell my other one that I had um in order to, to buy a new one I mean to be honest I would have sold it anyways because it wasn't the correct color for my hair anymore so I wasn't going to use it and I'd barely used it anyways and I just thought you know what a waste so I wanted it to go on to someone who would actually get the use out of it but um yeah if you are going to invest in good quality hair and I think I can't stress that word enough is before you look at the price and think oh my god that's so expensive remember it's an investment you're investing in a really good quality high quality hair piece that's going to last you years the hair quality is going to be really good you're not going to get you know hair that's going to start going a bit ratty and shedding and getting loads of split ends or anything like that it's very good quality so there's a reason why it is priced the way it is now i think that luster and 
please Lassa correct me if I'm wrong on this I'm pretty sure they do offer a payment plan of some sort um, I'm in the UK so I'm used to using a company called Klarna um, or obviously you could you know use paypal credit or something um but i think they do offer do offer something i can't remember what the name of it is um so you know go ahead and, and check out the website because it will be on there i've never used it but i do think they do offer some kind of payment plan but i think it was like a weekly thing rather than you pay monthly and that was the only reason that i didn't use it because i thought mm, you know i'd rather i was paying something off every month so instead i just saved up and, and you know got the piece that i wanted so yeah that was the only other thing again if you're in the uk or you're not in australia and you're outside of australia there will be a customs charge now again i don't know 100 percent if everybody gets a customs charge or if you know this is just something that unfortunate people like myself seem to get hit with but i've now had two custom charges um, from each piece that I bought. This one was about, um, I think it was about £126 I paid for a customs charge. Um, but one of the good things that Lusta did um, that they've, they've started doing is free express shipping. Now, I cannot tell you the difference that actually made when buying this piece because again, shipping can be quite high if you're in the UK or outside of Australia, um, like America or anywhere else. So I was kind of worried that, oh God, I'm going to have a huge shipping fee as well, but they've actually doing free express shipping. So not only is it free shipping, but this also got here in express time. I'm not kidding. This got here so quick, um, way quicker than my previous one. So I was really impressed with that also. But yeah, the, so yeah, in terms of cost, I think this one I paid for was about um, converting it into British pounds was about 824 if I can remember um, so yeah it wasn't cheap or anything I wasn't expecting it to be because obviously this is now my second piece from last that I bought so I was aware of the costs but um, every penny is worth it it was I cannot tell you how much this hair topper improves my overall happiness like the confidence it get is giving me back just when I put this on, I feel instantly better about myself. I just feel instantly more beautiful, instantly happy and more confident. You know, I feel like I can just go out and get on with my day-to-day -day things in my life and not worry about my hair because I have spent years worrying about my hair. I've spent so much time thinking about my hair um, and it's been exhausting. So having this is just, for me, £800 was a small price to pay. For what this has done for me so yeah I would definitely say um obviously if it's something you have to save up for like what I do then do it save up for it because it is so so worth it you're going to get so much longevity out of this you're going to get years out of this piece if you take care of it and yeah what it does for your confidence um is I, I can't you can't put a price on it to be honest um but yeah, it's worth every penny to me and I would pay more, you know, and I'm definitely going to buy another Lusta piece at some point. So for me, it's worth it. And finally, um, I would say the customer service with Lusta has been outstanding. Um, Kimberly and her team are just just the loveliest girls. They will answer any questions that you have. They've even now started, um, go on to Lusta on um, Instagram and check this out because they've now um, uh, started a new consultation thing where you can basically book a time to speak to one of the Lusta girls, um, ask all the questions that you may have about the hair pieces or toppers or wigs or you know anything like that. That's a new thing they've started doing, so check that out. But the customer service has just been amazing. Um, any questions that you have, if you're unsure about anything, you just drop them a little message. Um, granted, they must get absolutely flooded with messages every single day, but they really do go out of their way to take the time to answer those questions as well and get to know you. Um, the actual owner of Lusta, she, I don't know how she manages to do it because she has so many customers all over the world, but she seems to just really know each and every one of her customers personally, personally about their hair loss journey and just, you know, what sort of thing they're looking for from their hair pieces. But she really does take the time to get to know you. And for me, I just thought that was incredible. Her customer service has been amazing. So I'm definitely a very loyal Lusta fan. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I will leave all the details about my particular topper in the description box below along with the Alyssa website if you want to go and check them out and their Instagram page as well. Um, if you are watching this video on Instagram please head on over to my YouTube channel and give me a little like and subscribe and likewise if you're watching this on YouTube head on over to my Instagram for more content and more pictures of my Alyssa hairpiece. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful and I hope this has helped you um, decide on whether or not you want a Lester hair piece. I highly recommend it. I absolutely love mine um, and I definitely think it's worth it. So go check them out. Thank you.